Here we go. And away we go. Death, death. <laughs> Creek. Oh, nice move. Spins beautifully. The red block weaves and that's the first basket of the night. Got into early foul trouble tree again on Friday night. Cleveland, great move. Takes a little bump, uses the body perfectly to be able to open the account for the Illawarra Hawks. And he's tough, you know. I'd, I'd love to see him go against Creek on the defensive end. That's a great matchup because he's an excellent defensive player and Creek's playing great basketball right now. Harvey, a little out of control, then regains it. Reith v. Creek, one on one. Mumford does the half show in the end. Reith, nice. Regulation two in the end. Creek right back at you. Bang! This is going to be fun. Five points from Mitch Creek already. To try and get to that spot, he got to last easy two points. Harvey uh, couldn't do it. Trolling Ken tips it in. It's a little 2 3 zone from the Illawarra Hawks. You know, they've been searching Francis on the defensive end. And so often see with the zone, Mumford pulls up, and that's what happens. You bring that ball screen out, teams are going to match up, and they're going to go to man to man. Mitch Creek. Liafa straight up three is down. And the hot start for the Phoenix continues. Five or six from the field. And then Isaiah Liafa, we've got to start giving a little bit of credit. Isaiah Liafa, he was in a hole in terms of. There is Cleveland. Takes on. Broke off. Can't finish it. Rebound by Froling. Harvey, great pass back to Froling. He started the possession with the offensive ball. Oh, no, All under. Control now, one on a shot clock, no possession. As we heard the referee say, Crease gonna let it go. Wow, wow. It's dried up in the last few minutes. They've all been some really good looks. Reith dribbles to his side, oh, finds bottom of the net. He can't go under to a Reith and not, not show him any respect. He's shown one and a half seconds left on the shot clock. You have to shoot it. You've got to fly. Well, nice move. That's a tough move. Well, lucky in the end. And uh, can't get it to finish. Ashley can cleans up the offensive glass. Gets his first bucket of the night. And the five on the shot clock. Drop off, great move. Was able just to pirouette the other way after he got the defender going. From the former Boomer, he's got his first points of the night. The lead is three. Isaac White right at Smith Miller. Got him in the air. He's been a spark. I love Brian it. I love it. Return Mays. Shock on to nine second differential. Ashley says no right up against the backboard. Copes, first 10 minutes, what'd you make of it? We spoke a lot about defense and Illawarra, and they did a great job of not, not getting into foul trouble. They only had one foul in that quarter. And it sounds like Gorgeous had that. Ooh, that could have been a foul there. <laughs> it sounds like Gorgeous had that. Jessup oh. rolling and Reith for the Hawks as Clinton gets a good look after using an up plate. Can't get it to go. Tarangi. Too big for Harvey. Great up if, if that comes in in the first quarter when Tyler Harvey sits down, good pass there, a little high low. He's, can, that's when he can start using return mate to try and set up some shots for Justinian Jessup with the drive and dish. There's Joe Chi steps back into the game. He's Mumford. Trying to warm up. That'll help. There you go. Reith v. Creek. They started this way in the matchup. It's been fun to watch so far. Cleveland. Nice move. He's so tough. He gets to that glass whenever he wants. Creek, what a pass. What a heads up play by the Super. It's starting to show the connection on the floor. Go T, really good awareness to get underneath the hoop there. Rock off, rock off all the way. That's going to count. In the end, it was way too easy. No one picked up the ball handler. It parted like the Red Sea. That easy one. And right here, someone's got to be picking Brian Brokoff up. From when he gets to the Kmart logo down the other end, some, whoever's closest, you don't have a man in defensive transition. Great idea, Pete Hooley. Hooley, did you, did you just come up with that? Nice move. Up with no, a lot, of people have been, a lot of people have been asking about that I think, for a couple of years, and I'm with them, I think it's just... Former Opal and legend, Jenny Screen, oh. short side, great pass. Great pass. And Cam, I've got to get it out and stand corrected. As Liam Santeria has corrected me, which we hope he's doing all right. Oh. Closer over and back there for a split second. 
He's so crafty. He's so he crafty is. with that ball. Tom Mays, Cleveland, White throwing, and Tim Conrad. He's got 26 wow. points. Here's a move. Wow. Great move. Frolling. Got Ashley near. Great pass. Oh. Outstanding pass. Isaac White moves so well without the ball. And again, gets his second backdoor cut of the quarter. Brock off. Just leaves it for Ashley. It was an ambitious pass. You leave it at the ankles of a big man, but he gets it back. And he's able to get two. A little harder. Oh, oh, great move. The time made. All the way to the bucket. And one. I mean, he's done a good job on on Creaky. He's only scored seven points. Um, so again, if you can find a way to get those guys going early, like Creek's gonna get going on early. Talking post ups, his Chi inside on Froling. In the end, Tar Froling did as well as he possibly could. I'll turn it straight back over. Brockhoff couldn't knock it down. And that's what he does well. Mm -hmm. Chi. No double team. Leaf is wide open. Oh, great pass. G finds him. Top of the key. Knocks it down. And the lead is double figures. Then you've got to be going a double team. Turn your back and leave us. Leaf are wide open. Jessup. Can that get him going? Shot clock's down to five. Leaf has to get busy. He's very well aware of it. Fades away. From 17 feet. And there's nothing you can do. You play. 19 seconds of good defense. Uli and a better offensive shot just beat you. No, exactly right. But he just knocked down three, so he's feeling good. Good answer. Justinian and Jessup. Yeah. Always jump before you push, Pete. When it comes to sub three, nice move. <laughs> Huge game last week in the win with 24 points against the Wildcats. And Brock off. Just girls off a little screen. Finds himself wide open. He's in the double figures. When the defenders come over, so that's throw it straight back to him. Kept alive perfectly, but that man again, Ryan Brockoff, is doing it all. The defense of about three hands in the Phoenix, including Brockoff, but it leads to Cleveland for three, and the broken play three-pointer, we see it so often. Ashley, Brockoff, great quarter so far, can't continue it there. Oh. And the Tries to take Ashley off the dribble. In the end, he lost it. Retard Mays was there. Right place, right time. And now he is a chance to respond to Kyle Adams' three-point play with one of his own. But if you, if you move the defense around a little bit, then you can get a better shot. And Cleveland, and they'll push the other way. Oh, that's going to count. That is an amazingly... They are starting to shoot the ball well. When he takes it, everybody's worried about where he is. And you get Isaac White, Jessup, Tyler Harvey spotting up in transition. That's when they're at their best. Here we go. Cleveland again running off the rebound. Wow. And it's two more points. Ooh. And he has changed this game, Coach. He has changed the game. Retard Mays. Froling. Conrad. Got it. I want to do the daisy and ride that fence until the end of the game, bro. <laughs> Retard May. That's nice. He's they are tough. in a groove. The last 14 points. Trolling. One on one with Brockoff. Fades away. And they're all feeling bump. it. That's a big bump. With Mays is obviously getting a little tired here. Well, this is a, oh, that's a good little out of bounds set there. Cleveland, not much you can do about that. But want to leave them out there, but also, can they play the whole, whole quarter at this high rate? Probably yes. not. No, they can't. Well, we saw it, look, speak about playing, when you play well, Cleveland's got to stay out there, but we saw the Duke of North Carolina game today. They won. Jessup. Too much space. Only half are just... He's heated up. Slow. Jessup Second half. Corner. Yeah, you just oh, used to walk up and say, hey, uh, I might hate you. Everyone's a comedian. There was one rule the coach said, you just couldn't sub out Drewy. <laughs> Jessup hits it from 18 foot. Yeah, he got the, horn. the lead is 9, 50k. I'll oh, put it in my account, bro. It 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 went, so I win pays head there now. Oh, it's turn on. I'm starting to think you're unable to answer a yes or no question. <laughs> Jessup, <laughs> nice too. Jessup, and this has been a huge second half by Justin and Jessup. Amongst others in the Illawarra Hawks, Mumford got to get it, does! They needed that. 
Cleveland. Three. Wow. He's been huge. He's the reason they got this lead. He absolutely lit them apart. A little bit of icing on the cake. They lead by 13. Creek. Liafa. Time is not really their friend right now. Creek for three. Needed it. Got it. Mumford hit the last three. Well, two ago up before Creek. Now he's able to get it to go there. Ashley got it. It's back to six, just under 90 seconds. Mumford taken away by Rattan Maju, tapped him from behind, and it leads to a layup. It was the Wildcats led by Bryce Cotton. Surprise, surprise, earlier. Kings win their sixth in a row over Cairns, and now the Phoenix have to try and dig themselves out of an eight-point hole in under 55 seconds. That's going to help the Leeds back to five. No. Surely, no, no, he's too good of a player. Nothing but net. Okay. 41 seconds. Craig pulls up. Got a good look with Harvey backpedaling. That's going to stay with Phoenix. Great look. Someone's got to get their hands up. Mumford looking, looking, looking. Brock off. Oh, again, that's... You know what I mean? Because if, if they, had, they, had, they lost this game today, it's going to be hard to get in that four the way the Sydney Kings are playing. You're against the world, and sometimes when you're struggling at home, you play better on the road because, like, like Pete said, you can't hide. They're going to be magnified, and you're going to have to work through them together as a unit. Some of the one mistake of the night for Cleveland, because now this game's not over. Take a little bit away from the Phoenix, and then again, you look at the teams that slowly trying to cement themselves. Perth. This game is huge. And Reef is going to slam the door shut on South East Melbourne Phoenix. Brock off, no good. It's a huge win. Monstrous. Illawarra. That man there, Brian Gorgian, said they're going to go on the road and we're going to win these games.